Welcome to Man That's Cooking. Today we're going to be making slow cooker corned beef. All right, and we're going to start with chopping up two small yellow onions. We're going to peel each onion, and then we're going to cut each onion in half, and then we're going to slice them nice and finely. So you may have noticed on the ingredients list that we are not including cabbage. That's right. This is a cabbage-free recipe. In fact, we're considering this recipe somewhat of a base because we're also not, not including Guinness. I know you see it over there. That's for us to drink later. Uh, but feel free to add these things to this recipe. Now, if you would like to use stout in the recipe, uh, just substitute the half cup of water in the ingredients list with one bottle of your favorite stout. Now, with that said, this recipe is delicious as it is. No stout, no cabbage, still delicious. Try it, check it out. Okay, so we need two cups of baby carrots. We've uh, washed these in the sink and um, if you look close at man here, he's about to chop his thumb off in about one, two seconds. Uh, give it a moment. Wait for it. Wait for it. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. That's not going to happen. However, we would like to take this moment to tell you that proper knife technique is important. One day we'll figure that out. All right, now we're chopping through a two-pound bag of these small golden potatoes. We're gonna cut each potato into four pieces and just make sure you wash them a little bit before you use them, unless you like eating dirt. All right, now that we're done chopping with dangerous knives, it's time to get our drinky drink on to St. Patrick. Next, we're adding a half a tablespoon of cornstarch, and we'll add the other half later on. I'm going to add an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper, and we're going to add a half cup of water. Now, let's stir everything up. Make sure you got it nice and even. All right, now just take that seasoning packet and toss it to the side. We're not using that at all. Don't be tempted. Don't do it. Don't. All right, you see we got a nice layer of fat. We're putting the fat side up because that's how we are at Mandax cooking. Now we're going to add our Worcestershire sauce. We're going to put it right on top of the corned beef. And here comes the hard part. We're going to set this up for eight hours. Are you sweating yet? Woo! That was tough. Okay, this is six hours of cooking time. We're going to go ahead and stir up the vegetables and give you a little bit of a food preview here. So this is starting to look good. And while we're stirring it, we're going to drop a fun fact for you. Corned beef and cabbage is not an Irish tradition. It's an American tradition on St. Patrick's Day. But drinking Jameson and Guinness, <laughs> that's universal. So we're done, and we're going to cut up this corned beef. Go ahead and slice it up. Get it ready for eating. That is looking delicious. We got it nice and cooked. Was that super easy or what? Come on. You don't have to wait till St. Patrick's Day, although it's kind of hard to find corned beef any other time of the year. So we're going to add the other half of the cornstarch. That's about a half of a tablespoon. And try to get this in the liquid. Don't put this on the beef. Uh, once you do this, stir it up. So depending on how thick you like your gravy, that's how much cornstarch or maybe flour, whatever you'd like. Uh, that you should add to this mix. You can see there's a lot of liquid in here, a lot of water uh, rendered off of the beef here. 
Um, so if you want to thicken that up, add some more cornstarch. Another thing you can do prior to cooking is add a uh, beef bouillon cube. You can add maybe half or the whole cube. Uh, results may vary. Don't make it too salty. Don't make it too crazy. Uh, corned beef's going to be salty. A lot of it comes nowadays with reduced salt, and it actually is reduced compared to non-reduced. And now it's plating time. Look at that. Come on now. That looks delicious. And this was so easy to make. Hardest part was turning on the crock pot. This is always a, a great meal to prep the night before. Uh, set up your crock pot, go to work, come home, you're ready to eat. Oh, and the house smells delicious. The dog's starving. And here's your food porn flyover. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look good? Man, that's cooking. And by the way, you're going to get four to five meals out of this crock pot with this recipe. Best thing to do now is crack open an ice cold Guinness. Grab a knife and fork and shout down, baby. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Give us some comments and feedback. Check out our other videos. Check out our other recipes. Stop by manthatscooking.com for other recipes and other products in our store. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you on the next one.